yesterday. Uh, Biggie defended a an educator. I think it was a teacher a or principal. Principal. Principal called students asshats. It was in an email to, I guess, another mm-hmm. like someone else within the school. But somehow the student body got a hold of it. Got and, the emails. And, they were leaked. And uh, then the student, the principal was like, all these asshats, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And the student staged a walkout, a protest over it, to which Biggie said, you are a bunch of asshats. Come You're on. acting like asshats. Come on now. Now can you defend this teacher who went on a tirade? He said he was so sick and tired of kids like not paying attention, making jokes, mouthing off. And unfortunately for him, he was recorded. He is from Chris Dim's old stomping grounds, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Oh. He's been fired now after this tirade. Does anyone else want to try my authority? Because I am f-ing done playing with you idiots. I am here because I want to be here. I somewhat enjoy this job. You need something from me. I need nothing from you. You can go through life and live on the system, draw your paycheck on the first and the fifteenth from my taxes, and live just an absolute horrible life. I don't care. You can be another statistic. I don't care. That's on you. And if you think it's funny, I can take you down to the county office and we'll pull the f-ing numbers. And if you don't like my language, I don't give a sh. Because mm. you've said worse. And if you, again, Samaya, you leave too. Get out now. Get your out. Uh, this girl who recorded this, he mentioned her by name, Samaya Josie. She's a sophomore, mm-hmm. and the camera's on her the whole time. She's chomping on her gum. You can kind of hear, hear it. You hear her chomping. He's like, Chewing her cud. Yeah, yeah. And she looked like she was, you know, didn't care about what he was saying. Now, he dropped a ton of curse words and was screaming at them, of course. And he has been asked to resign and now has resigned. He's un Effective immediately. Effective immediately. He's uh, resigned. Mm. But I'll t- And, of course, he can't do that. You know, he snapped. He's lost it. He's lost it. He can't was do it. Was it the it. cursing that put it over the edge? Do you think if he took that attitude without the Fs and the S? I'm not sure. I, I don't, we used to have teachers I, I that would yell at us yeah, like that yeah. sometimes when they really get. Yeah. And I'll tell you this. Not to take his side, but last night I was talking to my son about his grades. The quarter ends today. Okay. Uh-huh. No, tomorrow. Uh-huh. Tomorrow Ooh, the quarter. Yeah. Exciting. Let me, let me just tell you, uh, I'll, I'll give, I'll just, I'll try to understand what the teacher was going through. And I think I can as a parent. We have Z on the phone who's talking about this teacher. Z, go ahead. Hey. Uh, so I have some friends who their, their students go there and, um, they said that this person in particular, like they're always dancing on the desk, not listening. And that particular day, they're playing gunshot noises on their phone because they know that he's a veteran with PTSD. Oh, my God. Ooh. Really? God. Yeah. And they play. Totally on the teacher's side. So they play gunshot mm. noises on their phones in a school. In a school. That's mm-hmm. And he's got PTSD. I, I think it's best for everybody involved. That he, I mean, it's better for him. Agree, to, don't you think? Yeah, he he needs God, to get away from that. My God, He's gotta make a living though. Yeah, no, you're right. And now will he? Maybe the school will help him. Thank you, Z. Gosh, what would you call those kids? Mm-hmm. Ass hats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, I feel for the. You know, he snapped, but I do feel. I mean, I could just see. This girl's face, she was she knew I'm getting him. I've trapped him into this. You know, he's yelling and screaming and cursing and I've yeah, got him. This is his last yeah, day. <laughs> I got him. I won. Tony, you're talking about this teacher too. Go ahead. Hey man, how y'all doing? P one. Thank you very much. Hey. Hey, I just wanted to say, man, that teacher he shouldn't have resigned. I think he resigned. He shouldn't have done that. The student was there being very disrespectful. I, uh, I was telling Biggs, man, back in the day, we could not chew gum in the class. Yeah. And teachers, uh, teachers told us worse than that. I mean, I done had teachers, heard teachers, mm-hmm. refer to students saying they're going to spend their spend they life on their back. Uh, he telling the guys, you go to jail, mm-hmm. bring the grease. Yeah. So this one, I was coming up. They don't say it a lot worse. <laughs> well, I think you're right. Th- th- times have changed for sure, yeah. and the presence of cameras in the classroom <laughs> changes everything. When you hear someone mm-hmm. caught on video, That's it right. just makes it seem worse. Well, I never had a teacher curse at us. Like the F word was never ever used in our class. No, you? No, maybe a, a damn in a hell, but that's about Once it. Once in a while, but, but that's rarely. Even that was. 
rare. Very not rare. in my day. And not in uh, like anger like that, you know. Uh, to me, I don't think I've ever heard of Dammer or Hell. Maybe. maybe. It may be like, in a, like uh, Kelly said, in yeah. context of a, a book or exactly. something or else. But this, the F word now. But the, the attitude, the, 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 the teacher's decorum of this is what's going to happen to you. And mm-hmm. they, they raise their voice and try mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess it's tough love, maybe yeah. kind of thing that, that they try it. to get across. I didn't mind it. That would happen. Yeah, a few times. Yeah, you know, in your high school career for sure. Anonymous, mm. you wanted to comment on this teacher who's now been asked to resign and resigned after cursing at the students. Go ahead. Well, I will tell you, um, it's only going to hurt the school because uh, I imagine if you go to their school's website, they have a ton of vacancies, and uh, like my school. We've had an English position open for a year and a half that we can't fill because nobody wants to teach. And there is nobody in the teacher education programs due to COVID and, quite frankly, the crappy conditions teachers have to deal with. In about two years, it's going to be critical level. Teachers have it really rough. And the last two years, my wife was a teacher. And what they went through to try and teach from home and Zoom and all of those things, very, very difficult. Oh, yeah. And I do think, do you think, I would like to ask you this as a teacher, do you think that the students being more emboldened because they have the phones all the time, and it's like, I feel like teachers are not allowed to punish like they used to be able to punish. Do you think that that's caused a lot of people to go away from the profession? Uh, absolutely. And you know, quite frankly, it's not the teachers that do the punishment. The, the teachers refer them to the administrators. And uh, I will tell you, uh, I've been in the gig for quite a while, and uh, it, it appears that, to me, that no stu- that the students are rarely held, held accountable. Uh, my wife had the same thoughts. She would send them to the administration. Now, this was at a private school. And I got the feeling that the administrator, they didn't want the family to be like, oh, we, we, we'll leave then. We'll take that money away. I can't tell you how many times she sent student, students to the administration. And she would have them, I mean, in the crosshairs, on video doing something. And they would be no punishment. Uh-uh. It was a real issue. I mean, it was a real problem. And that was, I mean, that was at a private school. This is a public school. And the guy just sounds like he's been pushed to his limit to me. Uh-huh. And the whole, f- and what the first caller said about playing gunshots in the mm. classroom, my goodness. Yeah, I shouldn't allow that at all. Thanks, Anonymous. I've got to be expelled for that. Listen, I, I know a guy who uh, retired from teaching three years ago. And I, you know, basically I was just saying, are you liking retired life? He goes, I got out just in time. He's like, it had been going downhill for a long time, and I am out just now. Here's how the students. My kid is a pretty good kid. My son, you mm-hmm. know that. Mm-hmm. But he, tomorrow is the end of the quarter. All right. Okay. And here's the attitude. And I think this is the attitude of a lot of kids. He has F's in three classes. Okay, three for the quarter. Ooh. For the quarter. Wow. Okay, right. He's got a 59, a 61, and a 63 in these classes. Mm. 63 is good. <laughs> Just saying, out of the three of them. So last night. You know, I've got him. I, I sit down. My wife says, I'm just looking at your grades. You can look at them online, you know. She goes, I'm seeing this, this, and this, and we're all chatting around. You know, I'm watching ESPN, okay? <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's we're, we're two days from Sweet 16, okay? And I'm watching ESPN. <laughs> and he goes over his grades, and I'm kind of tuned out. And she turns to me, and she goes, are you hearing this? And I go, yes, I'm hearing this. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm a tender father. <laughs> That's right. And You're trying to go over the UCLA scouting I mean, reports. I, I got a little something going <laughs> Who's on. Who's hurt? Okay. <laughs> Who's not? Kid rolled his ankle a couple he of times. He got a bad ankle. He got, got a bad okay, knee. All right. Okay. All right. I'm that looking. same refereeing crew is going, no, okay. oh, no. Uh, <laughs> so he says, here's my grades and this and that. And, I, and so then I say, what, you, what in the world? What is going on? And he goes, we straight. Don't worry about it. We got it. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I'm going to turn in a couple of things. I'll get it up. We'll get a C. I'll be all right. And, and he was like laughing along. I was like, what are you doing? I said, you're not going to get into college. And six years from now, life is going to be beating the crap out of you. He goes, I'm all right. I mean, he doesn't. His <laughs> attitude was so laissez-faire. And I think that's how kids are these days. You know, I just not to sound all grandpa about it. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of kids are like, we don't care. We live from moment to moment on this phone. And I'll be an influencer. And I don't care. You know, that's what well, I do. Don't, but there's I, a lot not, out there. There are a lot of good ones, too. That gets A's and B's. Yeah. And make you're things right. happen. Or that they don't have to try. You're right. I'm sorry. It's you're just right. the way it is. I was the same way that, you know, there are kids that don't have to try as hard 
hard and do great. You're and right. They, they You're gather right. it in class. And yeah. They may study just a little at home. Yeah. They can still go out and party. You're right. And they, and they get the grades and they'll get into a college. And, well. and he'll see it. When when his friends go off and say yeah. and, and start signing papers and going to hey I'm going here I'm going he here and he's, he's it's to be too late there. it's to be too late and he's got to work hard and he doesn't I mean he doesn't have that whole like I yeah. can just cruise along and get straight A's and study a little bit which a lot of people can he's got to really work and he doesn't have that in him well yeah. I know that it's upsetting I mean, the, yeah he's young but mm. he's not as young as mm-hmm. he used to be that's right. I know that his goal was to be what an OG pimp. Does he need to like ride along with an OG pimp for a day? He might. Oh, he right might along, do a little yeah. OG pimp. Right right along, yeah. OG Understood. pimp internship. He, he needs. A, a, I keep telling you, let him come with me, and I'll do a scared straight weekend with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still know some shady folks. We can make it happen. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Heroin Scott talking about schools. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, basically, like I was telling Biggie, uh, you know, if your mom wrote a note saying you could pay the E or they wanted you held back. That's what went. That's what was law. Nowadays, parents have no say so in their kids' education. I had tried to get my son held back in Asheville at teaching school in second grade. They refused, even though he wasn't on grade level with anything. That's my school. Teach your school. I'm surprised. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised by that, that you couldn't get him held back. You know what my wife's problem was, too? Uh, if the teacher said, your kid is horrible, he's doing this, this, and that, the parents said, oh, no, he's not. They fight for him. You know, They don't believe the they teacher. They take their kid's they side. They take the kid's side instead mm-hmm. of the teacher's side. Thanks, Heroin Scott. One more quick call on it. Barbara, on this teacher that has been now let go because of his tirade in the classroom. Go ahead. Yeah, I started teaching in 1974. Whew. And the thing that is the most I know mm-hmm. dinosaurs roam the earth. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thought so, but um, they the thing that changed the most are parents. The parents have changed the most because if you call up about your kid, say I don't I don't know what the administration. I agree, it's not as strong as it used to be. Mm-hmm. However. It's the parents who are driving it. I do not agree with that guy that just called the parents have no say because we're, I taught in St. Louis County. That wasn't true. But the parents don't fast the teachers anymore. Okay. Hmm. The parents don't support the teachers. I mean, that's what my wife found. My wife found that sh- they would fight you. You know, they would be on the side of the kid mm-hmm. time in, uh, time and time again. And she would get nowhere with the administration because the parents were, you know, they could she couldn't fight back. Well, the kid suffers in the end, though, don't you think? I do. After, after yeah. their school, ultimately, their sure. school ultimately, career yes. is over, and they're gonna be. My kid isn't getting into a college mm-hmm. or isn't doing what they want to do, and they yep. have to go work somewhere they don't want to work. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're part of the pro- They were part of the problem all along. Now you can't say that to their face, but right. but it's the truth. Thank you, Barbara. I know you can't say it. Listen, this guy goes crazy. He gets fired. Yesterday, the principals called them asshats. Only Biggie supported that. <laughs> you know, you're the only one that fought for that. Yeah, the asshat caller. And part of it's generational. Each generation wants their kids to have it better than they That's did. That's right. And over time, I would say since World War II, post-war, mm-hmm. each generation has gotten easier and easier for the next set of kids. Right. Because we want it better for our kids. Yeah, you do. And technology gets better. Yes. The answers are right there in their hand. It get, you get a little softer and a little softer and a little softer. As does America. As does it. And oh, we straight. You just... <laughs> We straight. We straight. You we just, you straight. just said it. We're soft as we've. Been. I mean, maybe it's hard not to be. It but doesn't get much softer. We, we, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know where we can go from uh, here. I really look forward to two weeks from now when he gets his grades and he comes to you and goes, "We were not straight." <laughs> <laughs> I was really. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't as straight as I thought. I thought I was gonna be. God, Dave, you just said it. Dang, huh? that colonoscopy cleaned your brain too. You were right <laughs> yeah, on the money. They went on that. Really you were, high up. You were right on the money on that.